Hi everyone, it's Ellis Nedra, the Modern Day Sage, with the weekly energy forecast for the week of June 13th through the 19th. Um, I'm going to try to get this out early. Um, what I can say uh, with the past energies that we had um, with this full moon, I feel like a lot of opportunities have come about to heal and a lot of people have, are purging and um, I am aware of this because myself and a few of my friends that I'm in contact with they are experiencing some um, purging um, some releasing of you know things that um, no longer serve them and serve me as well so you know I haven't quite reached the place of purging just yet but I do feel like um, accumulation of things on top of things that's just like building up to the point where you know to be honest I am very 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 angry about um, so hopefully <sighs> You know, there will be a release soon. Um, and the reason why I'm like really um, motivated to do this video early is to actually um, use this negative energy into something positive. And I highly encourage people, whenever they're feeling negative energy, anger, especially put it towards something positive because that energy is going to um, manifest into something beautiful. So, let's get into the reading. The decks that I will be using this week, as always, is the Angel Tarot, the Romance Angels, and an advice card for this week will be given through um, the Earth Magic deck oracle cards by Stephen Farmer. This is a new deck that was just purchased and I am thankful for it because this offers very, very wonderful insight. For whatever reason, I was drawn to this um, deck and it is like... Um, it's purposed, I feel. At first, I was like, I don't too much like it. But the messages in the Oracle deck are like on point when it comes to connecting back to Mother Earth and, you know, getting back to nature, getting back to the, um, the natural things. Being in nature, being connected to nature, it does something for the spirit, your emotions, it just helps one grow further. So, um, one card will be pulled at the very end of the reading as advice for this week. So, let us begin with the overall energy for the week of June 13th through the 19th. One card from the Romance Angel and one card from the Angel Tarot deck. What is the underlying energy for this coming week? Thank you, Spirit, Source, God, Higher Power. What are messages that you have for us so that we may grow and heal and take these opportunities? to expand in our consciousness and in love and further into the 5D and beyond. Thank you. We thank you for this opportunity to evolve. What are the messages that you have for this week? Mm. 
I feel like Spirit was just saying, just pull a card already. <laughs> to come out three cards wanted to come out okay so we have three cards from the angel tarot deck and one card from the romance angel deck and I actually pulled this card so I'm gonna just keep this to the side because the card didn't want to fall out so we're just gonna go with um, <clears throat> the angel tarot and I'll just keep this as a as a side note I don't think this is necessarily intended for the overall energy it may but we'll see how everything plays out <clears throat> the first card that we have here is the king of fire I know it's kind of dark but just setting my amb ambiance <laughs> this card reads um king of fire motivational idealistic ambitious and charismatic focus 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 communicate with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative four of fire contentment peace and abundance a happy home life the successful completion of a project and finally we have major arcana card the dreamer archangel metatron and this card reads a leap of faith follow your dreams unexpected opportunities so what is being conveyed here the spirit wants us to know as the underlying energy is that with the, the releasing of things that no longer um, serve our highest good, and I feel like this has been like something very, very major. I feel like a lot of major breakthrough was um, well, not what was, but happened through the um, full moon that we had. Um, and now we're coming into a place of feeling a lot freer and actually moving more so into our passions. Um, and, and I feel like some things may have happened that kind of set fire to our, um, To our souls in a sense um, could have been a situation where you know even releasing certain people that is you know caused us to want to do better for ourselves and to, you know, be at peace in life and to, you know, not feel held back anymore because of certain situations and circumstances. So, the situation and the releasing of it has set fire underneath our butts, <laughs> in a sense. And now we're um, taking the opportunity to take a leap forward, to take a leap of faith when it comes to making things happen once and for all.
Like, I feel a lot of people had to release disappointments when it comes to certain people and certain circumstances. And the releasing of that has given given vision to where, you know, one wants to be in life. It's actually put us in a place of being a leader, being a boss for our own lives, and set us on a path to actually follow our dreams. And this is coming into a place of contentment, peace, and abundance. It feels like we are in a place of creation. The dreamer could be taken as birthing dreams. This man stands in a circle here. The birth canal. So does this dragon in the center of the circle. The four of fire translates to be the four of wands which is about stability so I feel like it's more so stability in emotions and stability like building a firm foundation like a foundation is set and I feel like with the releasing of certain things like this foundation can't be moved it can't it's firm this is firm, firm footing, a firm foundation. And this was brought on by unexpected opportunities. Like um, the releasing of something kind of shifted one's perspective. And they're taking that pain as an opportunity to put it into passion and that's kind of like what I'm experiencing right now turning that pain into something beautiful and that's exactly what the underlying energy is about so the card that fell from the or that I chose from the um, <clears throat> romance angels I feel like this is not pertaining to everyone, but for those who have some fears when it comes to love and when it comes to relationships. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I feel like a lot of people may be in a place of questioning their love lives or their love with a certain person or where their love life may be heading to. Um, I feel like also there was some releasing when it comes to love life, to, you know, one's heart, you know, romantic life. And Spirit is saying stay optimistic. Although things have yet to manifest as you know you desire or for you to receive the love that you want a lot of things had to be released and I feel like this releasing that we had this past full moon is um, preparing us for the love of a lifetime so spirit is saying stay optimistic because there were some limited beliefs and perceptions that needed to be released in order to attract the love which one seeks. Okay. So let us move forward for Tuesday's message. Tuesday, June 13th. What is the message? crazy I did a reading recently the last reading that I did and these cards are coming up that I did for 
the personal reading. It's like um, the same energy. So this is, I guess, universal energy that's going on right now about being a leader. Okay, so Tuesday, June 13th. The cards, they came up. Once again, we have a number four about stability. The Emperor, Archangel Michael. And this card reads, Organization and Logic, Structure and Discipline, Leadership, Coupled with Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, what Spirit is saying with this card, the number four, once again, is about stability. Um, on Tuesday, I feel like something's going to happen where you're in a role of leadership. You're taking things you're taking control of how you want things to play out in your life you're getting more structured there's more discipline you're seeing things clearly and because of seeing things clearly you're in a place of contentment this is the honeymoon phase of the manifestation of your dreams. And this is something to be enjoyed. This is the beginning of something beautiful. And you're in a position to um, mandate. I don't know why that word wanted to come out, but mandate everything. You're in a position of power. Archangel Raphael stands there so powerfully. You're stepping beyond the veil with your sword of truth. I can't say a sword of truth. And you're in a place of power right now. And it feels good. It's like you're taking charge and even though you may not know what to do it's just coming to you naturally on Tuesday a situation is coming forth where you're taking the opportunity to show your leadership role and it feels good to be in a place of power you are the Emperor This is also fiery energy as well because the emperor is Aries and Aries is the fire sign. Aries is also considered the baby of the zodiac. So this is something new. Like Aries, they have a take charge personality they are the movers. They're the pioneers. You're taking on a pioneering role on Tuesday. You're coming into a new energy because this is a major arcana card. So let us move on to Wednesday, June 14th. What is the messages for Wednesday, June 14th, Spirit? What do you have to convey? What should we be noticing for Wednesday, June 14th? flipped over. Make sure no other card flipped. Alright. Here are the messages for 
Wow! Shut the noise. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. That's what my mom would say. She say, shut the noise. Okay, so we have another major arcana card. The world enumerated 21, which is simplified to three. So we have the world archangel Michael once again. Archangel Michael is like making his presence known. He is the defender, the protector. He is one of the main archangels. This card reads, a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude. The path towards enlightenment, coupled with chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. So the world card speaks of completion. This is the very last card in the major arcana. Three is the number of completion or being complete. This card is working with all elements. Okay. Let's see, water. Water, earth, air, and fire. And that's why as of lately I've been feeling drawn to connect to Mother Nature. Working with all elements. Um, getting back to nature. Um, because this shows all elements. And then above we have the affinity symbol. Mm -hmm. Just want to throw that out here for my twin flames, for my understanding. The affinity symbol is a sign of twin flames. I've watched a twin flame video not too long ago, and she said that the lady, her name is Karen, twin flame, 1111. I love her videos. Like, sometimes, like, as of lately, I haven't been watching them because, like, I'm tired of the whole twin flame phenomenon. I am. So I haven't been watching it, but this week I attempted to watch it and I did catch that much. That the infinity sign is the sign of twin flames. And here we have chemistry, so the magnetic attraction. And like, you know, if you don't know, I'm just going to throw, even though this isn't a twin flame video, I'm going to throw it out there. The thing about twin flames, the connection is there, whether you want it to be or not. Um, and it's like a magnetic attra attraction. You're always brought back to that person. And I was just explaining that to one of my friends. Like we were just talking about this not too long about not too long ago about you know wanting the connection to not exist anymore. But it is what it is. Like it, you, it is what it is. It was. Anybody who knows the twin flame always comes back. But maybe that's just for my twin flames. I just wanted to throw that out there on Wednesday. You know, you might hear a message from your twin flame. Who knows? But we see the infinity sign at the top and bottom. Being surrounded by all elements in a circle. Once again, here's the circle, the creation. As above, so below. So, this is complete black, complete balance in life, I feel. Being cleared once and for all to attract those things which you desire as above, so below. Bringing heaven to earth. And it's being attracted to you because of the clearing that has been done, the completion has happened there has been a clearing so spirit is saying job well done you're grateful for the opportunities you're in a place of joy and contentment 
And this is the path towards enlightenment. And enlightenment comes from being, um, or not comes from being, but when you're in a state of enlightenment, you are a material master. You have mastered the material realm and know that because you have rain on your mind, you can attract and manifest anything that you desire. So I feel like this is also speaking of manifestation. So that is Wednesday, June 13th. Let us move forward to Thursday. June 15th. We have messages for Thursday. Uh, before I move forward, I feel like Spirit is saying read from the book. Although I always read it, I don't remember because my mind ain't set up, set up like that. <clears throat> so. The book says, the angel sent you this card because you've happily completed something of great importance. They're congratulating you on a job well done. You're now ready to move on to something new. Enjoy your feelings of wholeness and completion and give yourself a pat on the back for your amazing accomplishments. You've grown spiritually and have evolved to a whole new level in your understanding of the universe. You've experienced significant enlightenment and have expanded your consciousness of how to attain joy and contentment. You feel a great sense of gratitude. Additional meaning of this card, perfection, a move to the next level, receiving an award, a new house or job, complete clarity, cosmic awareness, recognition for the use of your talents and freedom. Archangel Michael oversees your divine life purpose and he knows what roles your soul has been born to fulfill. Call upon Michael for guidance as to the next steps and for the courage, strength, and confidence to take them. So I feel like Archangel Michael is really, really in the mix this week. He, he wants to help you. So call upon Archangel Michael because he's making his presence known. So we are now moving forward to Thursday, June 14th. What are the messages for Thursday, June 14th. Spirit, what is it that you want us to know? And what do we have to look forward to for Thursday? <laughs> okay, yes. I was about to say another major con card. It's not. Okay, so we have the page of air. Logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Challenging information, delays, or changes to plans. Truth delivered without tact. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So, what Spirit wants us to, us to know for um, Thursday, June 15th. I feel like there's some information that's delivered on one Thursday on Thursday and this is gonna put you in a place of choosing your will or someone else's will or being in a position to go back to a way which didn't make you happy 
or setting yourself free and doing exactly what it is that your heart desires and what feels best to you and what you feel will work for you. You're putting yourself first with this situation that presents itself. And there may be delays or changes to the plans now because you're deciding to put yourself first, being that the way that things are is not working and it hasn't worked. And until you feel that you're seeing or giving proof, proof that it will work, you're putting things on hold or changing things all together and saying, hey, I gotta do what I gotta do and do what's best for me. And this is gonna be delivered in a very cutting way. This lady, the page or the princess, is surrounded by all sorts of animals. And I'm feeling like this is more so calling on an animalistic nature, like a survival going back down to the bare essentials the bare necessities doing what you have to do for you And it looks like she's holding a full moon here. So this is Spirit saying, this has been presented because of the full moon. The releasing of all that doesn't serve. And now you're realizing taking on a more natural approach to things. A nature approach. honoring you first page of air situation you'll likely receive new information that presents a challenge or delays the messages may come from someone who speaks bluntly and without thoughtfulness but don't take it personal What's important is the message, not the messenger. People. A youth who's often intelligent, honest, and endlessly curious. A person who's analytical with a bright, brilliant, and intelligent, and who can reveal the truth behind situations. Fair, logical, unemotional, and impulsive. Additional meaning of this card, a new challenge, a contract, or agreement constructive criticism, legal matters, and gossip. So, those things as well. Okay, let us move forward to Friday, June 16th. What are the messages for Friday? I'm gonna put this to the side because it didn't get picked up. <laughs> I don't know if that was the message that Spirit wants us to know, but it didn't want to include itself with the rest of the card, so we'll just leave it out. <clears throat> oh, that didn't even have to go far. The card just popped on out. Okay, once again, we have the page of air. We have the page of air again for um, Friday, June 16th. Wow, that's crazy. And then we have the codependency card. 
So. <laughs> that's crazy. First it was. On Thursday, love yourself first. Now, on Friday, it's the codependency card. So the message is still the same. I think maybe what's going on is that things are being weighed out. We have a choice of freeing yourself and loving yourself first. Friday. It feels like going back to those codependent ways. In place of wanting to mother or a place of feeling needy. And wanting things to be the same. Like I said, I feel like the situation, like, you know, the challenging information is something that, you know, you're ready to just not deal with anymore until things have changed but on Friday it looks like those addictions are like drawing you back but the card that came out as well was the honeymoon card enjoy this bliss of holiday time together. So maybe what Spirit is saying here, although this particular situation is something that, you know, needs to change. Where one may feel some codependent behaviors from, meaning, you know, feeling as if they have to be somebody that they're not. I feel like this is done in a place of joy. Seeing the bigger picture, maybe. Maybe even wanting things to stay the same. And enjoying it. What are you saying here, Spirit? The message isn't coming across. Things are changing. Things are changing. But because of fear, the codependency, the fear of things not working out, is somehow affecting you. But Spirit is saying that this is different. This is a honeymoon phase. And this is something to be enjoyed. I feel like fear is really keeping people from moving forward, expecting the same thing. Although the situation is being presented, um, and by you de deciding to love yourself, there's a fear there still. The spirit is saying that this is a new beginning. This is the honeymoon phase. And this is something worth um, enjoying. This is a moment and place of bliss because of the work that has been done. The job well done. It is deserved. This is exactly what Spirit is saying. Although it's fear with this <laughs> challenging information. 
of, you know, stepping back into the codependent behaviors that you set yourself free from by choosing you first, there's fear. But spirit is saying there is no need to fear. This is something different. It's a new beginning. So don't be afraid. Okay, so that's the message for Friday, June the 16th. Let us move forward to Saturday, June the 17th. What are the messages for Saturday, June 17th? Handle it. It's healing. Some healing work done for this reading. I'm afraid to place it down oh, so I don't spill any wax. So I meant I set the ambience for this reading. As I um, do my readings and such. I'm incorporating healing in them, my personal healing, because that's what I am. I am a spiritual healer. And at least I can offer healing and whatnot. Okay, so. Saturday, June 17th. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hmm. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. So Saturday, June 17th, we have the Queen of Water. Tenderhearted, empathetic, patient, and loving. Relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others. Yeah, I feel like that's what I felt. Okay, let me go back to Friday with the codependency card. Like, I feel like, I don't know if I said it. I was thinking it. If I didn't say it, I'm going to say it. That codependency, like, you know, you want to be there, you know, to help. But it's fear there that it's going to be the same thing. Like, you want to be there, but it's going to be enjoyed, though. But Spirit is saying there's no reason to fear because this is, um, it's different. It's a new beginning. It's to be enjoyed. So I want to throw that out because for Saturday, it says relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition and care for yourself and others. Couple with is safe to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel like this um, situation is going, even though you're choosing yourself first, and you're loving yourself first, spirit is still presenting it in a way um, that I feel like you're starting to see it in a different light. I, I feel like there's going to be some heartfelt communication that happens between Friday and Saturday where there's an understanding that takes place and you know i feel like you're opening your heart and the people involved they're opening their heart and i feel like it's just going to be you know some heartfelt understanding and communication friday saturday and this is bringing the relationship. I feel like this is a particular relationship um, with somebody that you may love, with a family member, just somebody that you're in close connection with. This relationship develops to a new level. Spirit is saying trust your intuition, trust and know that it is different. If you're feeling like, well, what if this is different? Don't be afraid. 
they need me. Don't be afraid. Well, not necessarily need me, but, you know, we don't want to be in a place of need. But, you know, my service is appreciated here. It says care for yourself and others. So by honoring yourself, you can honor others as well. And this heartfelt communication, this heartfelt gesture that's going to be made, it's going to open your heart and open the heart of others around you. So it's going to be like an, an even exchange of heartfelt energy on Saturday. And Spirit is saying it's safe to love, so don't be afraid. The codependency, that fear that once that once existed, um, it's been healed. Like we've been dealing with codependency for a while now, and Friday, Saturday, expect something different. And that feels good. I'm hoping that it does play out like that. <laughs> I ain't hoping. I mean, like, you know, I do. Because I've been dealing with uh, some codependency. I'm sorry, I see the shadow. Like, okay, yeah. I've been dealing with some, like, codependent behaviors and fears and things like that, so... I feel like I've, the healing work has been done or is being completed. I've just been waiting for it to just be over and done with because, like, this past year has been a doozy. A year, this past year and a half, OMG. You talk about spiritual awakening. Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> this, that's exactly how it's been. It's been crazy. So that was Saturday. Let's move forward to Sunday. June 18th. What is the message? Spirit. That's, you know, for Sunday, June 18th. And happy Father's Day for those who celebrate. I know, like, a lot of people are not celebrating holidays any longer myself included okay I don't celebrate holidays three cards fell out but happy Father Day it's nothing wrong with you know Appreciating and honoring those who do. So, okay. So, we have the Three of Earth. The power of creativi creativity. <laughs> I can't talk. Recognition for very high quality work. Be a team player. Then we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership and codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So, it's codependency card. It wants to come out again. Um, what spirit is saying is, I feel as if this fear of being betrayed trust issues what else is speaking to me not feeling good enough not feeling as if you deserve or feeling like you're being taken for granted or unappreciated 
all those things that tie into codependency, the fear of being rejected, just fear in general. You're in a place to release those because you're being recognized as not being those things. You're starting to realize those things in yourself as you forgive, as you have forgiven. You're attracting the recognition that you seek. And in a sense, the validation that you thought you needed. Once you realize that you did need it, now it comes to you. You're being recognized as someone that's dedicated, someone that is loyal, someone that is a team player. The power of creativity, that is the divine feminine energy of receiving. In this image, there's a butterfly, so transformation is taking place. The spirit is saying, give this relationship a chance. Work on it. Because you're healing... Because you're healing the elements of the past. I'm going to read the three of earth. And now, okay, also now you're in a place to learn from the past. Forgive and release. You have. You will. And as you do, from the day before, with the opening of the hearts, healing can take place and you can experience more love and feel appreciated. Right? <laughs> so, let us read what the Three of Earth says. This is, this is, this is, okay. The situation you're inquiring about can about can succeed with hard work and good planning. You may receive recognition or an award for your great talents and skill. Focus upon work that involves your passion and carry it out to the best of your abilities. Your creativity is highly rewarded. You may join a group or organization. It's important to be a team player and cooperate with others on this project. Additional meaning of this card, creating something beautiful or of high quality. Moving up in your career, teaching others a skill, and being an artist. So this is also saying level up. Creating something beautiful. That's the energy we're creating this week. Creating. What did I say? I said receiving. But that's the word that I was looking for instead of saying the feminine energy is creating. I mean, it's, it's receiving. It's, cre it's receiving as well, but it's also creating. That's the word that I was looking for. It didn't come to mind. So let us move on to the final day. Monday, June 19th. Happy belated Father's Day, fathers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just had to be extra. As always. Where are the messages for Monday? June 19th. Okay. These cards went to flip over. Mm, three cards. Wonderful.
sloppy shuffler. Like these cards, I don't know. Maybe they're too big or something. I don't know. <laughs> I just realized that like cards be falling and <laughs> I'm trying to catch cards all the time. But I love it. I love how I do what I do. And why I do it. Even if it comes off very unorthodox <laughs> and different, any Sid trick. I don't care. I love it. I know, I do. Okay, spirit. What are the messages? Okay, so you want to come out? One more? Okay, thank you. Okay, we have the Ace of Earth. An inflow of abundance, a promising business adventure, important documents or contracts. A two of air, one, two. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision is still made, pretending there is no problem. And one, two, twelve. Three. Once again, completion. Awakening, Archangel Gabriel. Look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill. It's important to be yourself. Then we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Coupled with true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. So I do feel like this is. Speaking of. Some sort of love. Whether it be. A love of what you do. An actual love. Love and finances. Somehow combined. The Ace of Earth. Is the. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles um, is about being offered a new beginning when it comes to prosperity. And prosperity doesn't necessarily mean um, money per se. And that's why the awakening card is coming forth. Because it's saying being able or unwilling to make a decision is still made pretending there is no problem. Spirit is saying look at things from a different perspective. It's important to be yourself. It's important to be yourself. Your prayers and affirmations. Visualizations bring you together. I feel like this has to do with love. A promising business venture. Although it says a promising business venture, I feel like this is more so a promising. Yeah, it could be a promising business venture. And so it is saying your prayers. Affirmations and visualiza visualizations bring you closer. So it's time to start looking at things from a different perspective. If things aren't moving how you necessarily want them to move or seeing that what once was is not working. And you're acting like there's not really a problem with that. So spirit saying, start to look at things a little bit different because the offer is being made, it's being presented to you. Spirit is holding you 
is holding the opportunity before you. But there's something holding you back. And once again, it's the limiting beliefs. The spirit is saying that this is a love of a lifetime. This is something worth the dedication and the time. And I feel like the unwillingness comes from that fear, that codependency. I want to read all of these cards, actually. The Ace of Earth, significant abundance flows to you now. You may get a promotion, salary increase, or unexpected money. If you've started a new business, the venture will likely succeed. The foundation for prosperity has been well laid. And I've said about the foundation. Um, it's also a good time to make an investment. Consider an opportunity carefully. You may soon receive some important legal documents, contracts, or correspondence. Additional meaning of this card receipt of a gift including or improving health earning a degree significant purchases or excellent luck the two of air reads you're struggling with a decision you have conflicting emotions or thoughts about which way to move so you're avoiding making a choice intuitively you know what to do but you're afraid to act and are at an impasse have faith in your own wisdom and move forward. There's a stalemate between parties. Compromise is called for. Find an impartial mediator to forge a resolution. Additional meaning of this card. Over analyzing a situation, pretending there's no problem. Complex negotiation and self-doubt. And then we have the awakening card. Um, it's time to review your plans according to this card and look at things from a new perspective. Ask yourself, is it possible that a different approach would work better? Although it may feel like events have come to a standstill. Hmm. A still mm -hmm. See, these cards are scary. <laughs> so no, they're not. I'm spiritual. <laughs> like, what am I talking about scary? Oh, I'm scared. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Although it may feel like events have come to a standstill, this is temporary. So make use of the extra time you've been given to rethink your strategies. You may need to step outside of the norm in the mainstream right now. And embrace your unique and eclectic beliefs or attitudes. It's also a good moment to be generous with your time, attention, and gifts. The tithing is returned by the universe many fold to you. Additional meaning of this card, epiphanies, selflessness. Unexpected life changes, the need for patience, the power that lies in being oneself, unusual solutions. Archangel Gabriel is the angel who helps people become divine messengers of love. When you speak, think, and act from a place of love, others are irresistibly drawn to you. Then, okay, I want to pull a clarifying card about this, uh energy for monday just one clarifying card um about the changing of perspectives like what's like the outcome of that what is the outcome of that spirit changing of perspectives the nine of air <laughs> expecting the worst self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights Positive thinking is essential right now. That's what the message was also. Your prayers, affirmation, and visual, visualizations help bring you together. So positive thinking is essential right now. Your obsessive negative thoughts are the true culprits behind the trouble you fear. Release your guilt and realize that regret is a waste, wasted emotion. Turn your attention to the amazing possibilities for the future and leave the past behind. If you've been having unpleasant dreams at this time write them in a journal bless them for their desire to inform you and then send them to the angels if depression is an issue encourage those affected to seek personal counseling additional meaning of this card sleeplessness racing thoughts 
expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, worry, stress-related illness. Okay. So, as an advice card for this week, I will be using the um, Earth Magic Oracle card deck by Stephen Farmer. What are the messages? The message for the week of June 13th through the 19th. What does Spirit have to say as an advice card? Okay. Ha. Huh. Full moon. Completion. And I will read from the message here. Full moon completion. Every 29.5 days, Grandmother Moon shines bright and full in the sky, illuminating the landscape with her muted brilliance, casting a delicate canopy over the sky and the physical features of Earth. Having gradually etched her way over the last two weeks to fullness, she now, she now stands like a guiding beacon in the night. She has completed this round of her perpetual and periodic, periodic monthly journey and will now start her slow but steady retreat into the shadows. In this card, we see the grandeur of the moon at its peak, blazing brightly and creating a silhouette of a tree. This beautiful orb reminds us that all cycles have their time of completion and fulfillment, one that will inevitably be followed by a decrease until yet another cycle is initiated. You can now take pleasure in knowing that whatever you have been working towards has now reached its culmination. It may have been a relatively brief cycle or a much more extensive one, yet regardless of the length of time, you have arrived at the stage of completion. Let yourself feel the contentment and satisfaction of this accomplishment. It is like when you take a deep breath and reach the point where your lungs are pleasantly full and your body is ready to release that breath. It is important to not only enjoy this completion, but also let go and allow yourself to relax afterward, just like exhaling slowly and consciously. People are much too eager to rush to the next item on the agenda without giving proper time and space to appreciating and honor the natural cycle of release that follows a point of resolution. Give yourself that time to relax and rest before tackling Spirit's next assignment. Okay, so that is all for the weekly forecast for June 13th through the 19th. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it resonates throughout your week. Um, please be sure to follow me on Facebook to find out about my services. There is a service tab. Um, be sure to like to stay updated with the latest information and also be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and also check me out on my website, my blogs as well. Um, so yeah, thank you all. I am in gratitude for you watching and until next time, love and light.